Hello artists, we are gonna make some more vertical art. This time we're gonna use clay though, all right? So we're gonna use some marker caps as stamps. We're gonna use some cardboard circles as our template, a straw to poke a hole, slip, which I will explain to you in a minute, a slab of clay and a clay tool. All right, just like we did when we made these birds out of paper, you're gonna use the circle as a template. This time you're going to cut it out of clay though, instead of paper, all right? Now, in order to turn this circle into a bird, um, we're going to cut the, the clay circle in half. All right, same way we did with the paper, only this is easier. All right, so there's our bird's body. Now I'm going to take what's left and I'm going to put the little circle sort of halfway over it. So we're going to cut out a semicircle and uh, there's our bird's wing. And then I'm going to cut out a triangle here. I bet you can guess what we're going to use that for. And then I'm going to take another little piece of clay. I'm going to roll that into a ball. And then I'm going to give it a little squish. And that's going to be our bird's eye. All right, one more piece. I'm going to make a tail. Now you can make the tail any shape you want. I'm making it kind of a heart shape. I'm just kind of sort of sketching it on the clay first and then I will cut it out. And this looks really cool. Like it's very interesting or at least, you know, it's very simple. It looks like a bird, but we're going to make it a little more interesting by adding some texture. Now do not panic. There was red marker on the cap still. It'll disappear when we put it in the kiln. Um, I'm using marker caps just to add some texture, but we have other stamps that you can use. You can also just use the carving tool and press that into the clay to make some texture. I like this cause it looks a little bit like feathers. I'm going to add some texture to my wing. I also have these little wooden sticks that I can poke some little holes with. And then my eyeball, I'm going to use the marker cap again, give it a good squish. And the wooden stick, now I'm going to use the carving tool to add some eyelashes. And a little more texture on my tail and then I think we are just about ready to assemble our bird. I can't wait. Now we can't just put the pieces together like that because they will simply fall apart. We have to do some things first. So we're going to use some score lines. That's when you carve some lines into the clay. And then we're going to use a little bit of slip. Slip is sort of like glue for clay. It's a really wet clay. And we put a little bit of slip on each piece, give it a little squish to put it in place. And then we use a tool to sort of blend it in there so we make sure it stays attached. If we don't do this, uh, as the pieces dry, they'll simply fall apart. All right, so we're doing the same thing with the uh, beak. Once you decide how you're gonna put the beak on. All right, and then um, we have to do the same thing again with the wing, score both pieces, and then use the slip, a little more, a little more on the body, Give it a good little firm but gentle push and then use the tool to sort of blend that on there making sure it stays on really well it would be very sad if your bird lost a wing all right and then we're going to attach the tail again one more time by now you know you need to score it all right and then slip and then blend it on there and there we have our bird now like i said don't worry about that red it'll disappear. I'm going to use the straw to poke a hole in it so that you can hang up your bird when it's done. Now right at the top of the head I'm going to use a potter's needle to put a hole in there. Um, Miss Jojo and I will help you with that because it's pretty sharp and we're putting that hole in there um, to put a feather in later you'll see. So here's the bird in three different stages. One that's just been built out of clay and is drying. Two, it's been in the kiln. You can see how the color has changed. And then three is after we've added some watercolor paint. That's all I use to add the color. All right, I can't wait to see what you create. Go forth and be brilliant.